Hi, I'm John with Homeschool History and Knotgrass History. I'm going to go over some of the features available to help you find resources in our database to supplement your history studies with your family. Our database has different topics and individual resources, and there are several ways to search and filter and find the resources you're looking for. The basic resource search allows you to type in a keyword to start your search, or you can choose the type of resource you're looking for. Those include audio and music, which includes actual musical recordings, spoken word, and podcasts, and then books, which is fiction, nonfiction, picture books, reference books, all sorts of different books. Curriculum supplements are resources that we have selected to go along with specific lessons in Knotgrass History curriculum. If you're using a different history curriculum, there are other ways to search to find resources that go along with specific topics. Uh, destinations, which includes museums, historic sites, natural sites, and events. Then we have games, which is board games, card games, online games, and apps. Interviews, these are interviews that we conduct with people who have connections to history, government, economics, culture, and we make those available to homeschool history members. Printables are coloring pages, printable maps, and some other resources, including some exclusive resources from Knotgrass History. Unit studies are collections of links related to a particular topic, such as the Olympic Games. And then videos, we have short videos and longer videos that you can filter. And then websites, some of these are interactive websites about a particular topic, some are for reference about a particular topic. So you can pick the type of resource you want to find. And then you can filter them by the, the age level. You know, we try to tag them based on whether we think they're good for elementary, middle school, high school, or either two of those or all three of those, you know, suitable for all ages. So you can filter those that are most suitable for elementary, most suitable for middle school, or most suitable for high school. Then you can also change the sort order to look at resources that are added most recently, list them alphabetically, list them by rating, or just list them in a random order to spur your imagination and find things you might not see otherwise. Then there are these symbols are ways that you can know the gold medal symbol are our top picks. These are ones that we have carefully reviewed and we highly recommend for you. If there is any content we want you to be aware of, we include that in the note for parents. Um, for example, you know, the World Factbook from the US CIA is a great resource for basic information about countries of the world. We point out that some of the information focuses on violence or religious ideas or other content that you may want to discuss with your student. So look for this note to parent note to parents when you open a resource and if we're aware of anything uh, that you might want to, you know, that make it where you might not want to share it with your younger children, for example, just things that we want you to be aware of. Um, so the homeschool history database is intended for parents to use to help find resources for your children. We didn't design it so the children would just browse it on their own. Of course, you know, an older child, if you guide them and help them understand the kind of resources you want them to find, they can do that, but it's designed for you as the parent to provide guidance as your student is looking for resources. And then you can also bookmark resources. If you find one that you want to save for your family, you can click the bookmark icon here, and then you create can create different bookmark groups. So you can have a bookmark group for one of your children or for a certain topic, or if you're doing a unit study about a certain topic, you can create a new bookmark group, like if you are studying the Supreme Court, can create a group and then you can add or remove a resource from that group. And then you can use this filter option. So you can filter it to look just at our top picks or you can look at your bookmarks and then you can filter it down and just look for your group. So find the resources that you've added to your Supreme Court group, for example. And then you can clear the filters and go back to the main search. So that's the, the basic way to search for resources. Then we also have a map search. Um, let's see, let's look for US presidents. So if you do a search and then it pulls up the resources, you can switch to the map view and it'll show 
the resources that are connected to a specific address on the map search. So it'll bring those over and pull up <coughs> the map search. And then you can zoom in and look at individual resources. So for example, the Harry Truman Historic Site near Kansas City in Independence, Missouri, um, Herbert Hoover sites in Iowa. So then you can also add a keyword if you wanted to narrow it down even more here, you can search for the keyword. Or if you were searching for another topic like Laura Ingalls Wilder, for example, you can pull that up and see, then you can see physical field trips or virtual field trips. So for example, for virtual field trips, our family has visited most of the sites where Laura Ingalls and Almanza Wilder lived and we've created videos. So if you can't get there in person, you can do one of our our virtual tours and watch a video that we've created about that site. And we have some other Google Earth uh, virtual field trips and videos from other sources um, for different topics. So you can do physical, pick physical or virtual uh, resources, um, destination field trips. If you are using Knockgrass history curriculum, you can use our curriculum supplements section and then find the curriculum that you're using pull that up and then it'll bring up a list of all the lessons in the curriculum. And if, if we found resources that connect to that lesson, that'll be in red. There are some resources or we, some lessons where we haven't found specific resources yet. So those will be grayed out. But if there's a, uh, if there's a link, you can pull that up. And then for example, when you're studying about Cape Cod, we have some destinations and a lot of these websites like the National Park Service, website has photographs, videos sometimes. So these are, you can use for reference even if you can't visit in person. But then there's some other videos, coloring books, just a variety of resources that we found uh, related to what you study in that lesson. And so these are optional, you know, you don't have to use these to supplement our curriculum. We designed not grass history curriculum so that it's complete and self-contained, but if you want to supplement with that, you can. If you're using another history curriculum, or you're just searching, trying to create your own unit studies, you can use our topic search. In this, you can pull up different resources from a certain time period, or look up resources related to a certain topic. You can narrow these down by region of the world. So if you want to focus on Canada, for example, so these are the Olympic games that have been held in Canada, for example, and then different topics related to Canadian history. You know, there were just like there were Japanese Americans who were interned in, during World War II. There were also Japanese Canadians who were interned during World War II. So I have some information about that, about First Nations, about the different provinces in Canada. So you can also narrow this down more. Culture, daily life, economics, military, etc. Then you can sort these chronologically, in addition to alphabetically. And so you can look through and find resources. Um, chronologically. So for example, say you want to pull up all the military resources we have, then you can do that. Again, you can break it down by region of the world. Or if there are a lot of resources, you can narrow it down by letter and try to find, to help you find specific resource or a specific topic that you're looking for. So that's a quick overview of how to use it. We would love for you to reach out with any questions about using the site. If you are looking for something specific and you don't find it, we would love to help you find that to enhance our database and add more resources to it. So feel free to call, email, or text us, and we will be glad to help you out. Thank you so much for using Homeschool History, and we hope that it's a great resource for you and your family. Take care. Bye.